Hello and welcome to The Telescope. Every week we'll bring you a fresh insight from the biggest car market in the world. Today we're in downtown Shanghai, a much quieter place to have a first look at this Xpeng G6. This is Xpeng's volume seller this year. It will go on sale in June. And to every intents and purposes, this is a Model Y competitor. It's got exactly the same, identical wheelbase to the Model Y. What do you think about this front end? I mean, I don't have much things positive to say about this, but I know styling is mainly a subjective thing, but I think this is probably the x one G6 worst color. If you select black and hide all of the um, complex lines, it works slightly better. I think it's a shame for the G6 because other than the styling, as you will see in a minute, the interior, the packaging, the practicality are all very, very good. But this styling, it doesn't inspire curiosity. If you are a new customer just walking into Xpon and knows nothing about this car, knows nothing about this brand, this styling won't generate curiosity from completely new customers. The rear end is a different story. I think it's fine, apart from these very complex lines again, where, where the roof is black, it switches to body color and switches back to um, gloss back again. Um, if you select black color, then all of this sort of fuse together and then it works better. Uh, with this wing, I think it's mainly driven by styling and not aerodynamic drag because airflow coming off this spoiler would have already been rotating in opposite direction. It will have some uh, it will cut some drag, but I think this is a styling driven decision to add this wing. Talking about the boot, um, this is, as I said before, a Model Y competitor. We have a very, very respectable boot. Um, Xpeng has prepared many suitcases to trying to show how big this boot is, but I think I don't need to tell you just by looking at it, this is easily big enough very, very practical. And underfloor storage is also very decent. All of your charging cables can hide underneath. The interior is where I think Xpeng made the biggest improvement. This is so much cleaner than the G9. If you haven't watched my G9 review, I heavily criticized the interior of the G9, especially the steering wheel. This is much simpler and so much cleaner. Some people will feel that this is a more basic interior but one thing i will say is this interior will age very very well five years from now on it won't look dated the same cannot be said for the g9's interior the steering wheel is a two-spoke design very clean design and I, one thing i will say it's difficult to convey this in the video but this is where you place your phone and this is your normal driving position look how natural this ergonomic is the steering wheel is very close to the charging pad and when I rest my hands on the charging pad, my hand is already very, very close to this screen. Not like in some other cars where the screen is like you need to stretch out to reach it. Ergonomically, this cockpit is very, very well thought out. And while some people might say this is less luxurious than the G9, bearing in mind, this is a G6. So pricing wise, we'll discuss that in a minute. This is gonna be a much, much cheaper car than the G9. And considering the price difference, this interior, I take this clean interior over the overly sophisticated G9 interior every day of the week. Before seeing the G6 in person, I actually worry about this car because this car is so similar dimension wise to the Model Y. I'm kind of curious, like how could they make a very different car to the Model Y by, by being so similar on dimensions. But once I sit in the back, I don't worry about the G6 anymore. This is a much more comfortable back seat than the Model Y. The Model Y's back seat is kind of basic. This is anything but. The seat itself is very, very soft. Kind of reminds me of those Nissan seats, Nissan Altima seats. That's really kind of had that kind of big soft sofa feeling to it. And it can recline. Once you drop the seat back to this position, I mean, I heard this car's range is targeting like 750 kilometers CLTC. If I'm sitting like this in the back seat, I can easily do 340 miles. This is a very, very comfortable 
um, second row and so much better than the Model Y. The car we're shooting today is the G6 Performance. This is the dual motor version. Of course, the volume seller will be the single motor, about 230 kilowatts rear motor. And this will be just about the cheapest 800 volt electric vehicle you can buy. Yes, this G6 is based on the 800 volt architecture, which we have seen on the G9 is extremely efficient. Words on the street says this car will have an 86 kilowatt hour battery and they are targeting 750 kilometer plus CLTC range. We will put the WLTP and the EPA conversion on the screen, but this is just about the most potent long distance electric vehicles. And Xpeng now is putting a lot of effort into building the ultra fast superchargers directly into the highway service area. So hopefully with the infrastructure ramping up, this is one of the most potent long distance electric vehicle at a reasonable price. Finally, let's talk about pricing and product positioning. This is called a G6 for good reason. I mean, the P7, notice that is a seven, currently starts in China at roughly 249,000 renminbi. This, while being having the 800 volt architecture and having these LiDARs, we suspect the base model to be priced lower than the P7. So we are roughly looking at 220,000 renminbi. And the G6 made some um, choices on the equipment. You notice in the back seat, it's manually adjusted seat back. And also it doesn't have heating, it doesn't have ventilation. So Xpon, at least on the base model, is consciously trying to make this car at a very competitive entry price. And if my guess is correct, 220,000 for 800 volt architecture for roughly 550 kilometer CLTC range. For people who are not into LiDARs and autonomous driving, I think the base G6 makes a lot of sense. And of course, if you want to go to town on the autonomous driving and LiDAR and range, the top of the line G6 will be a very potent uh, long distance electric vehicle and it's also smart. This car will have all the capabilities we've showed you in an earlier P7 um, video about the urban assisted driving functions. So this kind of is the complete package. I just wish it doesn't look like this. I mean, I can already see if the G6 have a mid cycle uh, facelift and they make some small tweaks to this front design, it will be a much more successful car. I think, I hope, more people can look past this front design and just notice how much of a potent electric vehicles you see in front of you. That is all from the telescope today. If you enjoyed this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.